this hour. Word of God this hour. From his abundance, his fullness of grace and truth, we have all received grace, grace upon, upon grace. Let me show you this in another translation, a very interesting way he put it. Grace upon grace, NIV. Very interesting. It says, Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given. But even if you go with this, BSB, he said we've received grace in place of grace already given. Next verse. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Verse 16 and 17. Put both of them on the screen at the same time. From his fullness, he was full of Grace and truth. You need grace and truth. Whole grace and whole truth. Come on. From his fullness, we, yes, we, you, have all received grace. What's grace? Favor. You've received a favor upon another favor. And I said, John here said, you have received grace in place of grace already given so there was grace and then there was more grace however you translate it and then the next thing he says for the law was given through Moses so it's three things now yes from him we received ask and it shall be given yes to receive the one who receives is the one who was given I just, that's all, that's all, that's all I'm trying to find. If you received, someone gave you to receive. Huh? We have all received. What did we receive? The law was given and was to be received through. So who is holding the law? Moses. What is the Lord Jesus holding? Grace and truth. Grace and truth did not come to counter the law, but to fulfill one part of the cup, huh? two more in the cup. What did he give the law? Grace and three. He came to fulfill what he began. He didn't come to start it. The mediator was sent first. Mediator one. Mediator two came. But she did not. See. She did not receive him. He came to his own and his own did not see. receive him. So guess what he's still holding. To as many as believe. To them will be given power to become children of God whether Jew or Gentiles are you understanding the work of Jesus Christ he didn't come to cancel Moses he didn't come to contradict the father or say daddy has changed in heaven I just came to say um, everyone daddy has he has made a new life choice daddy has reconsidered his ways before it used to be when you do anything daddy will just zap you but daddy has said you know what I've been working with anger management experts. All that nonsense people say. I pointed out years ago. I don't know if I still say it much. All those things people say. Oh, in those olden days, you just do anything. God will just kill you. Who are you referring to? Is it Cain? Is it Cain? He did something. God zapped him at once. Cain, the brother of Abel. Who killed his brother? Did God zap him at once? Is it David? Who goofed that goof? I'm looking for a good person. Okay, is it King Saul, who within two years of being king, has done in the most terrible things? Did he go on to be king at least for 40 years? Is it King Manasseh, who reigned for 55 years, but did more evil than almost anybody? Is it Ahab? Who exactly did you say God used to zap at once as you goof, you dare? 
those are all the foolish things we just keep repeating because we heard someone say it. Did you think about it? No. The Bible says, test all things. God has never zapped people immediately. They behave, misbehave. God has this habit of being long-suffering. With all, he sends his rain and his sunshine on the righteous and the wicked. He has always been so before Jesus came, after Jesus came. God has been long-suffering with all of mankind. He was not the almighty zap. He was not zapping then. It is why he does not zap now. Ah, look at the way this person is doing. It's like this person does not know God. Does not know God. The person will see. 35 years later, he's celebrating his birthday. He's alive. That God is not a matter of now. He was like that then. Read your Bible. Read Genesis to read it. It's summarized in Psalm 73. When Asaph was lamenting and saying, God, how can a wicked person seem to do so well? You can train Psalm 37. Just flip it around. 37, 73. All of them are talking about wicked people. Look at, I saw this guy in 73. was adding weight. Adding weight. His children are not falling sick. You read that in your Bible. Only once in a while is someone ripping quickly the result of his sins. That's the truth. So God has not changed. He did not come to say, Daddy God has changed his ways. God has repented. God is not a man that he should repent. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. If the Lord Jesus can be then, then he said in Malachi 3, I am God, I change not, so you sons of Jacob will not be consumed. Because if I change, everybody is dead. Moses gave the law. Jesus came to clarify the law. Amongst other things, to show you the kindness, the favor of God in the law. So verse 16 is saying, From his fullness we've received grace upon therefore the original one here the law was also talk to me the law is God's favor the law is grace 